electricity, but stuff you need to see at night. Well, when I decided to do an ADU, the one thing I already had somebody in line to do was the electrical. I have a good friend of mine, I spoke with him, I told him what I wanted to do, and he said, okay, I'll help you out. When I spoke to the inspector and uh, the electricity part came up, he said, you gotta have your permit ready in order to do the electricity. And I asked my friend, I asked him, uh, are you licensed? And he said, no, I'm not licensed. So that whole thing went out the window. And so I happened to ask my plumber to see if he knew anybody who could do electrical. He happened to know how to do electrical work, so I just told him, you know what, you do the project. Since the plumbing went extremely well, he took on the project for doing the electrical as well. For the electrical process uh, for your ADU, what you have to do is you've got to have a sub-panel. Now, you won't pass inspections without your sub-panel. And I'm going to show you why my bill was so small compared to other, uh, other, other ADU projects. So the reason why my bill was so small is because the main panel coming in from the city is right here. So this is where my main panel this is where my main panel is. And for my ADU, the sub panel happens to be it's a bathroom, there's a closet. So the sub panel happens to be right here. So the electrician, what he had to do was he had to run a line from this point to this point. And that's about a 15 to 20 feet run uh, going up and down in corners. Now, having it run this far, it's, 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 very, it's very easy, it's not complicated. You, you make a hole through one wall and you're on the other side. Now, have in mind that if you have your ADU or your garage at the, uh, at the corner of your lot, right there here's your ADU now your electrician has to run a line from your main panel all the way to your sub panel right over here so that's going to be expensive because they have to dig a trench uh, on this side and if you have concrete here and concrete here now you have another expense because they have to dig up the concrete uh, and if your sub panel I'm sorry if your main electrical panel is here then the cost is going to be smaller because they only have to run it this far instead of this far away. So you get the idea. If however far your panel, your main panel is, just think that your the ru the run to your ADU is going to be a little bit more expensive because they have to dig uh, a lot of soil and install the pipe, install the electrical wires on the bottom. So yeah, this is the layout for my ADU. This is why my bill was a little bit smaller because the electrician didn't have to do a long run. He just did a 20 feet run instead of a, I don't know, maybe 40, uh, 50 feet run and uh, some, something like this. This is my sub panel. You can go with 60. We happen to go with a 100 amp sub panel, which is more than enough to power this place. And what I was just talking about is this. So or my electrical panel coming from the city is right here. So what the electrician had to do is run a line from the electrical panel all the way to the sub panel, which is not the longest run in the world. Boom, there it is. And this is my, the panel from the outside. This, this is a 200 amp panel. Uh, one of the things that my electrician did to go far and beyond the regular service is that he installed coax cable and cat5 cable. So whenever somebody, when I rent this out and the, whoever is here decides to get uh, cable, it's already pre-wired with cable inside the walls. So the cable company doesn't have to drill any holes to install the coax line. And same thing for the internet. So the, there's a, the internet line is already here. He pre-wired the whole thing. 
and he installed a bunch of little boxes where the internet and the cable will come out. So here's one. That's for the for the cable and the internet. If we decide to go with the Wi-Fi router here, or they decide to get their own uh, internet service, they can install the router here. Everything's already pre-wired. And then he installed the same thing up there with an electrical box. In case you want to mount the TV, the wires, uh, the plugs are already there. He installed another one right here, same thing, data and coax. That little touch of detail just made my experience with the electrician beyond what I was expecting. He just surprised me of all the little things that he thought of that I would have never thought about installing. Um, also, let's see here, there's a bunch of, uh, your electrician should know how, how the distance of each electrical box should be, because there's a, there's a standard that you have to follow. If you have a licensed electrician, he'll know what to do and you don't have to worry about how far do they have to be. Um, let me see what else. He also installed all the recess lights. He installed the recess lights, he installed the cables, he installed the, the housings. He put all that together. I think it took him about a day or two to do all this stuff. And one of the things that the inspector looked for, and this is what happened in my last inspection, one of, the, one of my last rough inspections is that he wants all the cables to be stapled. So he came in, he did this, everything was well. Everything went fine. No complaints, no corrections. Uh, the other thing that my electrician did is that he matched the breakers, the breakers brand, he matched the brand to the breakers on my main box. I think the inspector, he, he liked that. There was no corrections to be done on, on, on any of the electrical. There was zero corrections for the electrical. The first time he installed it, it just went, it, it passed without a doubt. These little things, uh, so when you install your drywall, the nail doesn't go and hit the, 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 the electrical cables. These were installed all over the place. The inspector looked for that. Once again, no complaints. And since I have a shared wall from the from the garage to my property, we share one wall. And another thing that he did that kind of surprised me and just gave me an amazing experience with the electrician is that he installed this putty. What this putty does is that it blocks all the sound going through the box and into the other room. It's a soundproof barrier. I didn't even ask him about that, he just came in, he set that up, and he said, okay, I'm out of here. Which was another humongous plus uh, to this whole process that I didn't have to worry about the electrician, he knew what to do. Um, man, overall, I, I can't complain about a thing. All the wires done properly. He also installed the power source for the mini split. Now the inspector came by and he didn't like the mini split being in front of the property. So we just ended up taking it out. It was right here, so we took it out and we're gonna put it in the back of the house or on the side of the house. But nonetheless, we installed a power source here. Uh, now we're just gonna take this out and install a regular, a regular outlet to power, you know, whatever we need to do. So this is where the old plug was. And this is the, uh, that's the finished product. We took the other electrical box out and installed a regular outlet. Before you call for your electrical inspection, make sure that all the breakers are labeled correctly. Uh, you have the, the main breaker, water heater, your GFCIs. The inspector is going to look at all these little details. And if they're not labeled, he's not going to sign the document and you won't be able to go to the next step. So just make sure that the breakers are labeled and you're going to have a really easy inspection. 
So all the work, including all the materials, all the wires, all the data cable, came into about, I think, 1600 bucks. I didn't really jump around to look for other companies to do the work. I had a great experience from him, with him doing my plumbing. So I just told him, you know what, do the electrical. I'm pretty sure you're going to do a good job. And he did. I didn't have any complaints from the, from the city inspectors. He looked at, they looked at the work. They okayed the work. Uh, and they didn't want any, any corrections at all. So to recap and make sure you pass your electrical inspection, make sure that you have your striker plates in all your two by fours. Make sure that all the wires are stapled down uh, because when the inspector comes by, he's gonna, he's gonna poke and make sure that those wires don't move. Uh, make sure you label your breakers inside the cell panel and you label your breaker here on the main panel. If you do all those little things, you're not gonna have an issue, you're not gonna have any problems and the inspector's gonna sign the paper and you're gonna go to the next step. Uh, for me, after the electrical was done, the very next step was the installation. So be on the lookout, the next video is gonna be installation, what type of installation to buy, um, when to buy it, and just little, little details, um, mistakes that I did, and you can avoid those. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout, the next video is gonna be the installation. All right, have a good one.